Spring breakers are excited for vacation. Some are planning to travel out of the country. Yeah, for some San Diegans, that might mean crossing the southern border. But travelers heading to Mexico for spring break have a new travel alert to consider. CBSA's Regina Urita was at the border and talked to travelers and Tijuana locals about what you need to know. Spring break travelers should consider various factors beyond COVID-19 when planning a trip to Mexico. These factors include risk of crime, sexual assault, and illegal drugs in tourist destinations. For years, Baja California has been a go-to destination for spring breakers. From its delicious tacos to its rich Mexican culture, many San Diegans can't seem to get enough of Baja California. We're going to Rosarita, just, you know, go uh, try out some of the new restaurants. It's like it's spring break weekend, but we're just going to go try out some new restaurants. But for those considering Mexico as their spring break destination this month, might want to reconsider. <laughs> With heightened concerns regarding crime and kidnapping, the State Department has issued a travel advisory. According to the warning issued a week ago, travelers should remain on main highways and avoid remote locations as concerns are the high number of homicides. It also says that U.S. citizens have been victims of kidnapping. The risk is there, but not particularly for tourists. But if you are in a new area where you are not that familiar with, you are also exposed to that danger. Vicente Calderón is a journalist in Tijuana who has been tracking the influx of crime. He says the situation has gotten especially dangerous for women. In the case of kidnappers, um, they will know that relatives can pay from a distance. They have less resources to even verify if you are really in a dangerous situation or this is even kind of a fraud or an extortion or a virtual extortion as uh, we have seen cases of. Femicides have also been on the rise. Just this year, the number of women found dead has increased to 50. The traffickers are praying they don't care if they see an opportunity with a woman. But despite the dangers and travel advisory, Tijuana and U.S. officials say hundreds of tourists will still vacation across the border. Well, in our group, we usually look out for each other, you know, make sure that we stick together and like, you know, if you do still plan on traveling to Mexico, the U.S. Embassy recommends that you review their traveling tips and also advise that you are extra vigilant while there. For CBS 8, I'm Regina Urita.